Hey guys, so today is uh, I think it's a Thursday and we are here. I remember last week I told you the car had an issue So we kind of taking it to the garage and Alvin is here jump starting it So he'll be driving this car. I'll be taking his So we can go check uh, from the garage what's wrong with it. Just get an analysis a diagnosis for it actually So that's what we are doing. I'm just bumming here. Let him start It's our car do you think it will last? Let's just go check. It's a qua. Alvin, in a gonga pole pole, in a whatever. This the card. Take this. Suni fungi No. Alvin will be going with the other one. As I said, I'm taking his car. Should I be ahead of you or behind you? <laughs> behind. So, oh god. Oh, his seat is so low. So, because I just woke up right now. The, side, the sky looks so white. Let me just put my camera. So, Alvin is just leaving. Oh god. Yeah. There is Alvin's ass. I have to be behind him. Oh, his seat is so low. What is that thing? No. God, what the fuck is that? Should have told him to pull it up for me anyway. This car, not this that I am in, the car that I have been driving has been having issues for months. And we, me and my sister kind of kept assuming. So this is the prize we get for assuming that the car is okay. Oops. So, yeah. Totally our fault. just a few meters away from me and he's driving so fast but I understand once that car comes down to a halt it kind of goes off so so he'd rather just go quick the garage isn't far from home it's like 10 minutes from the house and I am not using my garage my mom kind of talked it out with Alvin and they opted for that car to be taken to Alvin's garage. Remember, Alvin changed the route. Apparently, the garage was supposed to go. Their machine kind of failed, so I'm just following him for Christ's sake. I even don't know where we're heading to. Let's just follow and see where we're going to.
to my fikasahi well garage let me just go check what they're doing <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't believe that that much. I mean, I've got an MBA PS in Nashida. I'm a your alarm. So the alarm has no issue. We never know. But the alarm is a, a higher trigger, even whatever I was saying that Robert. It's a higher trigger a lot. That's Do you want to check your bonnet? Yeah, I want to check it now. Will you take me to the bank? Huh? Can you take me to the bank? Actually, there's just traffic. Angalia, all of a sudden. I came with Kabisa. We were like five people. Ko barabara to kikuja. Say me ko matana. The pole pole na iyo vlog. Si po na po na. You are very slow. Let me tell you something. Watch on chekeche. Ni metan capital center. Guess where I see you in Bellevue. I was even looking for you. See, you saw me turning. No, I saw you turning. But the thing is, kwanza si kwa na juu na ingilili ya South B Bellevue. Amu nenda straight. Unelewa. Ngeni fo ni likuwa kwa inu mangu na potea. This guy keeps changing lanes. You kept changing lanes for Ooh. Christ's sake, you. Yeah, because I was coming this way, you would have noticed. You kept changing lanes. So when somebody would have to go to the house, you would have to go to the house. You would have to go I've only changed lanes twice. You counted? Yeah. Okay, One, that's true. Two. Yeah, on, 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 oh, yeah, he changed twice. But his kind of speed is insane. So. His bonnet. Look who's peeping. I guess you drank it from what the rich shop, a bill of wash a gari. Okay, that's it. So we just fixed it. I'll have for tonight. I'll take home. No, I'm not going to go home. Okay. So, story of banks. He's kind of late. This week he's been having stuff every afternoon. So, we just head back home. We are late. We are heading to 
Alvin Sisters debate. Her and some friends formed this uh, youth debate pertaining elections and stuff like that. And so we were supposed to be there at 11. <laughs> and we are still on the road, like. So yeah, we are heading there. I don't think it's a premium that much, Anna. But at the end of what mentioned, there was sun, you know, because it, we are. <laughs> so let's go check. The last debate, I missed it. Where was I, babe? No, I didn't get lazy. I see Kwa Nyumi on Saturday. Kwa Kwa Nyumi. No lie. We met, remember we went and went to Umo. Exactly, you were in the house. No, I went to church. Kumbuka ni lienda church. I remember I even won the dress. Yeah, I went to church, that's why I couldn't make it. But I promised her this debate. I wasn't going to lag around, so I was going to show up, and that's what I'm doing. So, Judy, I'm doing this for you. Yes, for you. So, let's go check what it's all about. The last time I've been said it was dope. So, let's go see what uh, we have. And the function is being held at Daystar. Daystar, where is it? Yeah, Daystar in town, not the main. How do you call it? The main branch. You don't call it university. It's called Texas. It's called Texas. Yeah, it's Texas. I don't know what that means, but that's what we just actually quite roundabout. Okay. So but we're not going to the Lukenya one. Lukenya this is Hallingham. This is Hallingham. Yeah. Oh, Lukenya is Texas because we make a Africa. Uh, it's empty. Mm. That's a funny way to think of it. Yeah, and there, I'll leave the link to the debate forum. I can't remember it. Uh, uh, Sahi, you've been too fast. Anyway, we, I'll leave the link to the program then. I'm going to catch you guys so. later. Oh, we're already here. And we were rejected. They refused the name. 
And the reason was, we are not a political party, but we fought it. And we finally gained the name. So it began, we began to question, why would they refuse an entity of young people to have a political name? It's clear. They don't want young people to discuss politics because they don't want things to change. Things are working for politicians at the moment, corrupt leaders, because the youth are ignorant about the place that they need to take. So it's two things. Sometimes we go to forums and we find young people who want to engage politicians, politics, and care for this country. Such a forum as this, so it's encouraging. And then there's the flip side, where we attend community dialogues or forums, and young people are more concerned about the employment. Okay. And I was actually watching the State of the Nation speech by Uhuru, and he was like, um, you know, um, 20%, sorry, 2%, 50%, sorry, 50% of all government resources go to pay less than 2% of the population in Kenya. And we're sitting here, and we're 80%, and we're okay with that. So I'd say it's not, I mean, we need change. Yeah, we need change. We have about 8.6 million registered youths who are going to vote during the August elections, yes? So now, my question revolves around the economy. At this particular point, we all know the minimum wage of what someone is supposed to earn in the country. But it has never been effective, and that is why I'm of the opinion that maybe it's time we cap it on the maximum wage someone has to earn. Because when you cut the minimum wage of someone, the people who are going to suffer are the ones who earn the least. And the people who are not cut to how much they can earn, you understand that, that those are some of the loopholes that they're creating for people to steal money. So in that sense, how are you going to deal with how much wages that the youth are going to, or anyone just generally in business, going to earn. Thank you guys for the opportunity to be here this morning. Uh, I don't know whether you are here, my brother from St. Paul's, from the start when I say that I actually believe that uh, as a young person, my role is, once I get my foot through the door, is to hold that door ajar to other people, other young people like myself. So trust me when I tell you that you will not be my opponent in 2022. I will be the one holding the door for you. Mm. Because I believe that you need to get the influence. Now, uh, a question was asked by the panel here about what it is that you expect to see uh, on the 9th of August. And uh, uh, I don't remember her name, but she said uh, something that is very important. She said, uh, people just want to be taken seriously. I mean, politicians come and say all sorts of things and go away. Uh, but you guys must also re uh, remember that uh, this is a serious issue for you as well. You must be serious about it. Uh, those of you who are in university right now, I can, we can almost guarantee that you will graduate uh, during the term of the next government. And you therefore must think very hard about the kind of economy you want to graduate into. Uh, we have seen uh, massive levels during the past uh, four years. Even uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, uh, companies like Zuku, uh, I think there was a bank, it is Barclays Bank, which is announcing uh, layoffs. Most of those people who are being laid off are not people who are 50 years old. They are people who left campus four years ago, three years ago, and this was. I've been up on the highway. Wondering if maybe we could just fly But you've been stuck on the far side In your own mind We just left the cocktail party And I'm looking for Judy She's not here we want to chuck to Machara Sahi, so we have to bid her farewell before we go. I've been Simone. Simone. So we are done with the cocktail. 
and babe tonight let's going to sleep not no we are not going to sleep we're going to sleep guys but first you're driving for like 60 kilometers we are heading to machasa here I mean, it looks so good. We just left uh, the function, which was actually awesome. The debate was spot on. Uh, the guests were nice, the panel that is, and the food, the cook, what do you call it? Wings. No, it wasn't wings. Mm -hmm. The drumsticks. They were wings. No, they weren't. Big wing in corner. Chicken wings. Drumsticks. Chicken wings in all. A cuckoo, a panel. Drumsticks, no, no. Chunga break. Sorry. So I took drumsticks and I didn't see anywhere chicken wings. So Miss G Alwana Yaji Anini. But it was nice, so we just chat, said bye to Judy and her friend. And right now we're heading out of town. We'll be spending the rest of the weekend in Machakos with Alvin that is. And I am excited to just relax and sleep. We have sit here. Yeah, I know. Najuna, Najuna, what you lale? What about those things? Is it your hobby? It's like it is your hobby, and I feel like it's your entire family's hobby <laughs> to some extent. These people sleep too much, but the one thing I believe in with your family is that you lala san and I'm kiam kam na kwanga active more than any other person who's been awake for eight hours. They can work in three hours for work that should have been done in two weeks to somebody else. So, atujali wakilala, barako kazi fanyike. So, I'm sure I will definitely go to the next debate. It was nice. It was really, really nice. And the food bomb, of course. And the last time he brought me the food, so still the quality of chakula, spot on. So, let us now head too much then you turn your shoulder even though you want to Hotel and it's so dope, it has an amazing view. Yeah, that's the highway. 
That is Kilima Kill. No, Kilima. Yeah, baby, that one. Kilima Kill. <laughs> so yeah, let's just. Uh, we'll just bump for a bit. Right now, it's on Five. Five, and then we'll go eat at around seven or eight. We'll just rest a bit because we both didn't have plenty of sleep yesterday night. So I'll see you when we go to eat.